Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deep Viking. Welcome to Deep Town, my humble village in Patreon. Okay, so since last video I have played a bit off screen, it wasn't intentional. I thought I was recording, but I actually wasn't. So I didn't want to take the time and redo everything. But you didn't miss much. Well, actually, you did. I went through my first winter. I have to say, it wasn't an easy winter. I had the constant fear of running out of food, running out of firewood, but I prevailed. So, what um, happened in the meantime is that I built this fisherman's hut right here. I built this depot right here. And I also built... Let's see, I built this quarry and a coal mine. And that's what uh, happened basically, like 30 minutes of gameplay and I have to say it's a pretty slow game, but most city building games are, so. Right. <clears throat> what we need now are workers. We need a lot of workers. This is the most expensive resource in the game as far as I can tell so far. The job, uh, the game does a good job at making you feel poor, is what I've noticed. But if you learn how to use the docks, you can make some money. And so far, I've been making money off herbs. But because we don't have a lot of workers, like I said, we can't afford right now gatherers. Actually, we can afford a lot of stuff, like um, gatherers for the herbalist's hut, like I said. Forester's hut, like foresters, and also miners. I always have to shift labor from the quarry to the iron mine, and now we have the coal mine. So we basically have just one worker that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna shift to coal, to quarry, to iron mine, and so on. Okay, it's May, and we still don't have any new workers. I'm waiting on the young to become adults and children to become young and I'm curious how many children how many new children will they have okay so let's see right our objective is to build a toolsmith because we will need tools for all the upgrades on the houses well not all of them but a lot of them have tools they need tools for example, fertilizer for the forester's hut needs tools. Improved axes needs tools. And I'm guessing you just you'll just need tools uh, throughout the whole game. And also, tools sell for 3 for a whopping 3 coins here at the um Docks, right, docks, it's called a docks. I really have to get accustomed to the names in this game, names of the buildings. Okay, we uh, still don't have a lot of food. Looks like we're barely producing more than we consume. And we still don't have enough firewood, but right now since it's May and, uh, and there's 17 degrees, 17 degrees outside, we don't use all that much. But I don't know, I really don't know how how this produced things work. Because during the winter production was a bit higher, now it's 62. But I didn't change anything, nothing changed as far as I'm concerned. So how is how does this work? I really don't know. It's something you have to find out by playing I guess. It somehow feels like an old school game where the game doesn't give you a lot of information and you just have to find out yourself by sinking in a lot of hours of playtime. Okay. Right, so right now we're not doing much. We're just waiting around for new workers. We also need iron. I've noticed that if you click on the townhouse, you have this advisor, advisor tip here, which I think tells you the uh, underlying problem you have at the moment. For example, right now we have problems with iron. 
Our toolsmiths are in trouble, sire. They're almost out of iron. No iron means no tools, and that's when we really hit a problem. So, I... I made a worker to go to the iron mine and that's why we don't have any workers at the coal mine and at the quarry. Oh, looks like food is piling up a bit. That's good. Also firewood. Not bad. What we forgot to do before last winter is proper insulation for the houses. So we only have two houses that have insulation and we must make it a priority to insulate these houses before the next winter so basically by the end of October maybe at most the beginning of November we should insulate these houses it's not that um, expensive now because like I said we did make some money with trade we made like 200 and something coins so we're not that poor anymore and looks like we have a bit of iron too. We also seem to be having problems with resources being allocated to the buildings. This is like the 10th time this hunting lodge is having problems. Resources required in production are not arriving to this building. So it looks like they have an iron problem. And I think we can fix that if we build a depot right here. I think we should build a depot here. And it might solve some of the problems. No, we should. Yeah, actually, that was good. And we should build, make this road a bit wider. Mm, there we go. Okay. Right, so we built that coal mine and now we should build the tool, whatever. What was it called? Toolsmith? Oh, we also have to research it. So where's the toolsmith? Toolsmith, there we go, 10 days. It costs 100 coins, 10 lumber and 10 stone. Do we have all that? Uh, I think we do, otherwise it would be in red. What we don't have, it's written in red. Yeah, we have all that, so let's research Toolsmith. There we go. Okay. Happiness is okay. It actually has gone up a bit on most of the houses. It was on 89 happiness and now it's uh, 90 and where it was over 90 like 91 now it's 93 and 92 That's good That is good So it looks like they already have begun to work on the depot I'm curious when we will get more workers. I mean, it's been over a year. I don't know what month is it when you uh, start to play the game, but I'm sure as hell it's uh, before June. So I was hoping of getting more workers when we hit like um, a year in game time to get more workers, but we didn't. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait a bit. Can we sell anything else? Can we sell some leather? Should we sell some leather? And it also looks like we need some lumber. Yeah, so let's sell some, let's say 25 leather. Yeah. That's good. And research done toolsmith. And let's build a toolsmith. Okay. There we go. We built it right next to the sawmill. So this is basically the production zone and this is the housing zone or the housing block as I like to call it. 
And like I said, let's cut down some trees for that delicious wood. There we go. Right, I still don't know if there's something I should do to get more, more um, workers, to get new workers, or is it something that it just happens like every year? How fast do children grow? Hmm. Because up until the point we get new workers, there's not much we can do. I mean, we keep building these production buildings, but... Uh, without workers, as you can see, they're not producing anything, they're not working. And it feels like you're building them for nothing. Okay. Forester's hut. Let's check the production here. Production is steady as ever. I wonder if the production uh, facilities have like a capped inventory. Do they produce, uh, let's say, let's take the fisherman's hut for example. If you have a hundred fish and if a hundred is the cap, do they produce more? Do they wait? Until a worker comes and takes all the fish and brings it to a depot and then they will produce more fish. Is that it? I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> Is that why sometimes you produce more in a month and less in a month because workers don't have the time to get the resources in a depot and the production building just, you know, waits for that worker to bring the products to the depot I don't know <clears throat> I really don't know there's a lot of stuff I don't know about this game and it's actually quite intriguing I um, think I'm gonna speed the game up a bit actually no let's um, let's keep it to 2x and take a look at the jobs board. So we got a quarryman. We don't have any quarrymen. We have two fishermen. So we can pile up some food. Although every time I look at the food production. It's always lower than what we consume. But somehow. Somehow the food keeps. You know piling up. And that's weird. It's not very clear. In my opinion, you don't get a very good overview of how much you're producing and what... You don't have a lot of information to make a decision. Hmm. Upkeep. Right, let's check some upgrades. Why not? Large baskets, production, plus 50%. Yeah, sure. That seems like a good upgrade. Expert Butcher too, yeah. Sounds like a good upgrade as well. Yeah, well, like I said, I, f I feel like there's n not much I can do without all those workers. Let's see what... A toolsmith needs to produce tools. Was it coal and... So it's coal and iron. Coal and iron. Do we have any coal? No. Right now we have a worker at the iron mine. We're gonna wait to get a bit more iron. Monthly produce 10. So with uh, one worker you, you produce 10 iron bars once we get that to let's say 20 we're gonna shift that worker to the coal mine so we can produce some coals and after that we can produce some tools and when we will reach about 20 plus something tools we will start to trade the tools to get some extra money but i gotta say 
without workers money isn't all that no we don't need money all that much because we we can't build anything because we would just build the building and then we won't use it because again we don't have any workers Okay, let's read up on the house window a bit. Maybe we'll find information on if we have to do something to get uh, more workers. House window. Your people want houses to live in and start their families. Each family will move into a single house if available and depending if there is enough space will also give birth to more children and make your population grow in numbers. Bear in mind that tents and shelters are not ideal for family planning and will not result in children being born. As citizens get better jobs and go up in rank, no, I didn't read that, okay. As citizens get better jobs and go up in rank, they will want better houses or their happiness will get a hit. Okay, so based on that, let's build a couple more houses, why not? So let's build one more house and then another, so two houses. And let's see what happens. Even though not a single house is full, best we got is five out of six residents. Maybe that will incentivize people to move in. And looks like we need more lumber again. Gather resources and I think we should cut down these trees over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I tried to use a right click to move the camera but it's way too aggressive for my taste WSD seems like the perfect way to maneuver the camera and also using Q&E to turn the camera around <laughs> Right, so it seems like there's a lot of waiting in this game. We're gonna set it to 10x, why not? It's August. Thirty-two degrees outside, and for some reason people are still burning firewood to keep warm. I mean come on, really? Monthly use 14? Why would you need maybe to cook, I guess, but I guess you would bring a grill outside. You wouldn't use the chimney to cook. Okay. <laughs> the church needs money. Well, haven't I heard that before? To attend to everyone's needs of the soul, the church needs to satisfy the more material needs first. For but a modest sum of coins. <clears throat> of course, I could not agree more. The soul comes first. God will take care of the rest. <clears throat> okay, so if we take the first option, if we choose the first option, which will cost us four coins, it will please the peasants and laborers giving them religion plus 10. If not, if we choose the other option, it will please the merchants and gentry, religion plus 15. So from what I'm guessing, every time you will have to make a political decision. So you will have to be a very good governor. You have to know exactly what is going on in your city before you make one of these decisions and when this pops up it doesn't seem like you can take a look at your city to take a look at, at, at how happy everyone is like what they need so you have to be informed every time so seeing as how we don't have merchants and gentry four coins is not that much and we only have peasants and laborers so religion plus 10 is not that bad i guess that will count to their happiness so let's go with that. There we go. 
Okay. Come on, guys, I need these new workers. Come on, come on, come on. We got 18 iron. I think that's safe to... Oh, we actually have a worker in the coal mine, but... What? Okay, so where's the coal miner? So, does... A coal miner count as a miner too, but I think it does because there are two iron miners and there are two coal miners and at the miner profession we have four. So yeah, let's click that on one. Yeah, there we go. I think, come on. Hmm, how do I make a worker to go only at the coal mine because it seems so we have zero workers for the iron mine and zero workers for the coal mine when i assign a worker to the coal mine the worker goes straight to the iron mine and i don't know why oh so you have to do you have to you can set that through the maximum number of citizens maximum number of workers okay that's good to know so this is important also okay looks like food is piling up firewood is piling up it's october and like we said we should deal with the insulation problem as in insulate every house we do have the money for it there we go Okay, but I'm waiting for new workers. When I played the first time off screen, when I wanted to um, get a feel of the game, I did get, I think, six extra workers, and it was in the next spring. So after the first winter, I got new workers. I don't know what I did differently this time, but I didn't get those workers. And that's really weird. It's kind of weird. I think I should speed up the game more a bit. I think that's how you're supposed to play it. When there's nothing nothing to do, you should like uh, speed it up. And once you see a problem, slow it down, deal with that problem, and so on and so forth. Like for example, it looks like I need some lumber food doesn't seem to be an issue right now so maybe i should take one gatherer and make him a forester no herbs oh my okay so let's go to the herbalist's hut so much for that idea i wanted to get a forester to get more lumber without me sacrificing workers but uh, because i didn't want to cut down the trees but it seems like we have run out of herbs so we have to put an herbalist and then we will have to cut down the trees manually like so and hopefully that will solve the problem so speeding up the game a bit Oh, I just noticed I'm missing missing the resource panel right here. What what did I press? Okay, so it's not U, it's not I, T, T is for trees, G is for the grid. Okay, come on game, why you do me like that? <laughs> that panel is pretty, pretty important. Okay. Okay, also it's P. Okay, so with P, it's not pause. The spacebar is pause. 
with P you get to toggle this panel right here. There we go. I don't remember pressing P, but whatever. Maybe I pressed X by mistake or something. Uh, I think we should also upgrade herbalism training. I don't know what herbs do exactly, but I'm pretty sure it counts. Again, it counts for the happiness of your population. Blackberry. Herbs. What do herbs do? Used to treat lighter ailments and generally to keep people healthy in normal conditions. The lower the health, the more herbs a citizen will consume. Produced by herbalist huts. Okay, so it looks like we do need that. Uh, it seems like we don't have enough iron. It seems like we, the coal miner, man, we can't afford a coal miner right now because iron bars are going down really fast. And we need iron bars for hunting. So, yeah. Right, so winter is here already. Okay. So let's see what we have to do. Hmm. It looks like we got enough firewood and we have enough food to survive this winter. I'm still waiting on those extra workers. Nothing seems to be happening though in that regard. We do have a herbalist. Right, let's speed things up a bit. No, actually no, because we do need iron, and where's all our miners? We do need one iron miner. We don't have any gatherers. Don't have any quarrymen. We'll just have to wait on finishing these housing. And toolsmith. So before we finish this toolsmith, it looks like we're gonna need some stone, which we will get, I think, after winter because we don't have workers. Church dignitaries are offering us a way to gain some favor with them, though that's really just a way for them to tell us what they want done. Indeed, fine, send them what they want. Let's do them a favor. I'm not interested in doing them any favors. Okay, so let's see. We can do them a favor, which will cost us six tools, but we'll uh, give... Peasants and laborers, religion plus 10, and merchants and gentry, religion minus 4. Or we can refuse this request and will result in peasants and laborers, religion minus 6, merchants and gentry, religious 10. Religion 10. Okay. So, oh, so you can't click to check. Um, what you're doing and to check the resources tabs and all that but when you hover over an option it shows you how many resources you've got the resources that um, the option require and also the impact the decision has um, it shows that for example you, um, this option gives you religion plus 10 and here it shows social issues so it shows religion for every class of citizens so you can actually make an informed decision. We have religion 98. I think 100 is maximum. We don't have a lot of tools, so we're gonna pick this one. Because that will leave us with 92 religion, which I don't think is bad. And will save us the tools. There we go. So I'm not interested in doing them any favors. And there we go. Okay. So again, not much to do. 
this is the first winter and it looks like monthly produced food is like two times monthly used that's not bad but to be frank i don't i don't know why but same goes for firewood well let's let's not question that let's just be glad we don't have food problems and firewood problems like in the last winter okay so i feel like this is a good place to stop because this things seem to be going a bit slow right now right so thanks guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video my name is deep Vike, and i'll see you next time